I should speak up. Citizen, you are being accompanied by a malfunctioning steel watcher. Please stand back. <laughs> uh, I think you have the wrong hunk of metal. False. Report your purpose, steel watcher. Why are you following these citizens unbidden? Ah. I understand your malfunction. Your unit is a highly outdated model. The Ragnax casement protecting your metallurgized ice valves is burning well outside the recommended temperature. Please report to the Steelwatch foundry for dismantling. Metal man, if I report to this foundry, can my engine be fixed? Your make is very obsolete. Repairing your engine would be not only impractical, but impossible. Report to the Steel Watch foundry for immediate dismantling. Yeah, yeah. Tell me something I don't know. The Steel Watch foundry is off limits to visitors. This malfunctioning unit can escort itself back. Not sure. Maybe whatever keeps them going is similar to my tin can. Turns out I'm the fucking prototype for these things. I'll dismantle every single one of them. Any threat to the Steel Watch is a threat to Lord Gortash himself. Please report to the Steel Watch Foundry for immediate dismantling. Even before they got those big metal bruisers, the fists were obnoxious. But now... I can't wait to show off the scar to a friend's school. Yes? You're sure? A natural impulse to try and shield one's loved ones from danger. Especially when you feel a moral compunction to run headfirst towards it. I suspect any child of Jahira's will share her self-destructive sense of justice. But at least her words give them pause for thought. How can I help? 
I question the wisdom of that. I'll be here. Jahira would do anything to see her family safe. <laughs> They're lucky to have her. And she's lucky to have them. That's the... Let's talk. Are you sure? And... I've had my eye on you. Hot as brimstone, jagged as lightning, and seething like the river Styx. But there's something missing, isn't there? You're hungry for pleasures beyond this plane. Something more satisfying than mortal flesh, blood, and bone. Oh, but do hear me out. You want what I have to offer. The ecstasy of agony. The pain of the damned distilled into smile. Or don't. And know the eternal ache of the unknown and the unanswered. Dear me, I've... Uh, trust me. I receive my chosen successor, Francesca, has proven to be a wise choice. Perhaps the wisest I ever made as Archdruid. The city, you mean, with all its noise, smoke. Still, though, this place crawls with light. The city, and still, all that I wish. I wish. <laughs> Listen to me, preaching like an initiate in his cups. Perhaps, but, but that must wait for now. There are battles yet to be fought. Then you'll... afforded a chance to start a family of my own. Serving nature always had to... Wherever you need me. Jahir is adept at keeping secrets, and for good reason. She was wise to try and keep her family safe. I just wish I could have done the same. All right. Can't afford to stay out. Need to keep going. No one back home will ever believe this.
you sleep, but the wicked don't. Someone is here to disturb your rest. Get the hells away from me! Peace, brother. We're here to take you home. The master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. The right. The master needs him. He must attend. Oh, I'm well aware of what the master needs. But don't we deserve better? Better? What do you mean, better? After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead. The right of profane ascension will be mine. And he won't see a scrap of its glory. I am going to complete the ritual as the Ascendant, and then I am going to kill him! This is your chance. Stand with me. Name me your new master. We will get our revenge. And you will all live again. His liar's smile spells danger. He knows full well that his kin will die in the ritual. But if any of the bearers of the scar die before the ritual begins, he will lose his chance to perform the rite himself. He needs them to run willingly to their deaths, thinking they stand a chance against their master. He is different. Stronger. Fire in his eyes. Maybe he could take Cazador's place. Maybe he could free us. Perhaps we can get back at Cazador and finish the ritual. The Seven can unite and... Oh! No! Oh! The bonds hold. He owns us. We have no choice. We must obey. Get out of here, Astorian. Before... Let's finish this. My turn. Hammer's gonna fall. I'm looking for the slaughter. Won't see this coming.
step forward. What a mess. Well, at least you've met my family now. He wouldn't throw away centuries of planning on a scrap like this. They were pulled back just in time. He will be furious. <laughs> and he'll be even more furious when I get to that crypt and stop him. For what it's worth, thank you. No matter what happens down there, you helped me stand up against him. My faith will guide me. Let's get going. Those vampire spawn came for a Starion, didn't they? Lucky for him that we were here to fight them off. If you're sure. Fine. I wasn't expecting it. All right. Pleasant traveling with company, if you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. Swift as my feet can carry me. Uh, flowers are so overrated. They're bright, gaudy, and almost never make good poisons. I used to be the scourge of the hells. Now them. flowers can make me cry. For every bite you take. Each their own, I suppose. Although I am right. Let's see. Floric, former advisor to Duke Ravenguard, has been found guilty of treacherous and seditious activity against the people of Baldur's Gate. She will be executed five days hence. It's not a lie. If you would just listen. I could explain! You have done quite enough explaining, Volothamp Gadan. You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions, your conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask of stories, we have seen beyond the veil. We see what you really are. Fearmonger. Hear, hear! Attention seeker. Hear, hear! Agent of chaos. Your parasite stirs in recognition. This man is infected. Rack the hells follow! Today, citizens, we rid ourselves of this cankerous sore. Today, we burn away all falsehoods. 
Today, we will be divided no longer, for today, we rise in truth! Psst. Don't you stand there! Help me, goddammit! Help me! The newcomer speaks, and speaks of evidence, and trials, and justice. And in so doing, they delay their very own salvation. Dear citizen, dear friend, rest assured you will have your justice. But I'm afraid the time for trials has passed. Now is the time for judgment! No! Please! No!
turn someone inside out. <laughs> Tempers are rising. Light on my feet. Never seen stealing. Resolving this peacefully will require more caution than you displayed in get Nothing illicit can be found. I was done for. I suppose thanks are in order. Again, what's an heroic story without a little risking of one's neck, eh? And you know what they say, the bigger the story, the more people want to kill you for it. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it, but not here. Too many eyes, ears, and weapons about. Meet me at your camp. Just a brief respite. Oh, wave mother, queen of the depths, hear me. Please carry Holly to her final rest in the deep wilds. Please... Sorry. Are you here for Wave Servant Holly's funeral? Oh, it's already started. Uh, they're just inside. No, no. All are welcome to come and celebrate the life of the fallen Wave Servant. May the Wave Mother smile on you as she did Holly. Oh, the gods truly. Sorry, mate. No time to chat. 
Just here to make an offering, then leave. In and out, yeah? The celebration is in the main chamber. Praise Umberly! Justice! Leave its master! A bloated carcass in the spume! Rejoice, sisters, for Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss. Her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow, sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless garths and bursting flesh. You, supplicant, what tribute do you bring to honor the Wave Mother's fallen daughter? Yes, then you know as well as Umberly that blood must soon be shed. Your tribute is well received. Breathe deep as she permits. Yes. Thank the way, Mother. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare her an ignoble death. But her passing was not as the way Mother intended. It was a beast who took her life. An unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly. A wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. The bee struck Holly while she was swimming in Grey Harbor. She was found by some fishermen. She would have suffered a terrible, agonizing death had Umberly not bestowed upon her the mercy of drowning. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her, and her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. We haven't found its lair as yet. Perhaps you can find where the beast takes its slumber and skewer it before it wakes. <laughs> that privilege is not yours to earn. Salt kiss your brow. We await your return and the Beastmaster's demise. Rejoice, as the Wave Mother welcomes another daughter to the deep wilds. Know that we too shall gladly follow when our time has come. Oh, I curse to put my hands on everything. There's nothing for you up here, Flotsam. Back downstairs you go. Sing, sisters. Sing in Umberly's name. Praise her for this most holy... Which is my whole life. How many barrels? We only yeah, have no, enough no, no, no. for three. Oh, that, well, we sold Something's everything. Got... This catch is spoiled. You'll have to wait for the next boat. You can't make us. 
split up the family. The crew and I are risking our lives. We're not doing this for charity. Honey, you go with the girls. I'll find another way to walk. I hate sending Lee Pack and the girls off without me. But if that smuggler can get them to water deep and away from the absolute. I hate this. That lousy smuggler won't take all of us because we can't afford four births. Greedy bastard. This is life and death for me too, mate. You only get as many births on my sloop as you can pay for. If I allow any freeloaders, my own crew will scrag me. Pretty well, I'll do it. I suppose I can find some way to make it good with the crew. I don't know who you are, but all I can say is thank you. If you ever have children, you'll understand what you've done for us. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I just couldn't bear to leave our girl's father behind. I was this close to landing that deal. Next time, for sure. My father always told me, Kate, commerce is like warfare. Fight for it like your life's at stake. There's something on for that. What? How much for the salt Peter? Oh, this one's corked. What are you looking at? We're allowed breaks. Contract says so. Look around you. It's peaceful, isn't it? Peaceful for the moment. <laughs> must be prepared at all times. Unfortunate demise awaits the <laughs> Pardon my singing. That lullaby has been stuck in my head since... Oh, funny. I can't recall. Wonderful little beast. Nimble as anything. A man of means, judging by his attire. He looks like a merchant or a junior council member. But right now he's without care, entranced by a tree. There was a squirrel in the tree. Marvellous creature. Inquisitive and nut-crazed. Give it time. I had to wait for... Oh, I don't even know how long to catch a glimpse. You wouldn't happen to know where I live, would you? I see. It must have just... slipped my mind. These things happen. This is more than a lapse, you sense. Something's been done to the man's memories. Well, I remember I was sad. But in truth, I'm not quite sure what caused it. I'm not even sure I know what sad is anymore. And I came from that building over there. They were very nice to me. Seemed very helpful. Although, for the life of me, 
I can't recall what I was doing there in the first place. There must be, you would think. You know, I can swear there is someone, but their name escapes me. Hells, even their face escapes me. <laughs> A figment of my imagination, perhaps. <laughs> oh, it will come to me. Or not. not. I'm content enough here, in either case. Greetings. Do you seek help? You are in the 